another kids a disaster cat the one and only coming to you with another episode of new vegas all right when we left off our weight was actually a lot more than that we were pushing around 324 now we're at 217 so i think we're pretty decent so now we're going to go and do the residential test what? He just destroyed his doghouse. Uh, I, I honestly don't want to fight him if I can avoid it. Uh, so I'm going to try and avoid it. Uh, baseball. Nope, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, not around here anyway. Bottle caps. Okay. I'm going to try sneaking through this for the time being. So we check that one and it has nothing. Okay, there's another one over here. Oh, two wore off uh, from earlier. Okay, this one's done being checked. Do I have a... Do I have one? No, I don't. I could have sworn I... Damn it. Must have got rid of it. Want to avoid fighting him if at all possible. Because there's a... Oh, shit. There's a thing sometimes. Shit. Uh, metal cooking pot, pork and beans. Wonder uh, how he got the pork and beans. Oh, shit. Uh, empty sarsaparilla bottle. Shit. Shit. Oh, but okay. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, medical brace. Could use that, but other than that. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, uh, Gabriel's Bark. Uh, there we go. Yep. Uh, recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Yep. And I didn't check this one either. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Um. So, you recovered the sonic emitter schematic. Oh. Frequency. Even he doesn't know. Okay, let's uh, try and take these out real quick, because if they kill Gabe, then it's really not good. Okay, Jesus. There's one down. doing that if I could. Oh, didn't want the fission battery. God damn it. Uh, drop that. There we go. Gabe's bowl. Um. And L-A-E-R. Might as well get some of the useful stuff from him. Ah, I could have used those a bit ago. 
Valence Red Eye Accentuator. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But okay. Okay, let's might as well check everything around here. There's usually a bit of good stuff around. You might be hearing a couple squeaks. Um, it's because I got a new controller and the uh, thumbsticks are just starting to be broken in. Uh, unfortunately, they have been doing a lot of squeaking. <laughs> uh, it's, it's to be expected. But, eh, I'm not too happy about the squeaks either. Uh, at least it works. At least the buttons work. As opposed to the old one that barely let me use the X at <laughs> critical moments. Okay. There we go. And I think that's basically all of the stuff in here. Yeah, I didn't... I, well, I just noticed those boxes. Packs of cigarettes, useless. And bobby pin. I could use that. Alright. Other than that, we're pretty much all good. Yeah. Now we get the hell out of here. And I think, possibly on camera or off, I'm going to be doing some of the other tests in X8. Prepare to be oh shit. By Dr. Morbius. Nope, that one is the other one. Now I... Okay. Uh, let's just see how well this does. Actually pretty well. But... I want to be using something else entirely. Um, I guess I got to switch to it because I didn't have it put on anything. Uh, Proton Universal X. Put it there. Okay. There we go. It gives them a knockback as well as does some heavy, heavy damage. And that's the kennel door that I'm going to need to go in to do the... Uh, Oh, it's my rule. the uh, unusual specimen portion of the whole test. There we go. Because those unusual specimens, specimens, if you couldn't tell, were Night Stalkers. They got a shipment of Night Stalkers in. <laughs> Which is, you know, not great. Oh, shit, there's a lot of them here. Okay. Got a lot of critical strikes on this guy. Jesus. Alright, there's the last one. There we go. And now to do some heavy hits on this one. Oh, hit my There we go. Yeah, I'll hit it. I'll hit it all I fucking want to. There we go. Take all of their crap. Every single bit of it. Well, not every single bit. Don't need the fusion batteries. But other than that, take every bit of it. Alright, and this would be a door to what? Oh! about that? <laughs> Insulted your honor, and now you fall. Whoops. Didn't want the flamer fuel. I keep doing that. I'm so used to it being useful. There we go. At least for a selling standpoint. Because in the regular game, it doesn't have any weight. Splicing terminal. Take this. Is there anything in the toolbox I can use? Eh, something. Okay. Biomechanical splicing rules. Due to recent government mandated cutbacks to our funded funding, only three experiments may be performed per day. We do not have infinite kennel space here in X8. Only one cyberdog beyond those needed for the testing process may be created. Clear any and all debris from the platform before conducting any splicing experiments. Yeah, I bet it would probably cause some <laughs> big issues. Experiments are not allowed outside the X8 facility. Finally, security must be disabled before experiments can be run. Alright. Splice robot and dog. Splice robotomite and robot. Splice lobotomite and dog. I want to see the lobotomite and dog one. I prefer 
Mercs here? Oh. Oh, geez. That... That is... That did not work at all. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that sounded like fist at least. Oh, no. Whoa! Jeez. That is creepy. <laughs> I know that's a glitch, but holy shit, that is creepy. Oh, God. I'm sorry, doggy. Oh. I just wanted to see. <laughs> Clear splicing our hit. With all that glitchy goodness, okay. Okay, and now let's splice lobotomite and robot. Even though lobotomites have no brain, so. Let's see how this goes. Look at this. Feel different. Awake! Alive for the first time ever! What is this strange new world around me? What does it hold in store for a dreamer such as myself? Oh! <laughs> well, that was a thing. Sorry, buddy. Uh, we're gonna save the uh, one of those for last. We're going to do it after this whole facility's been cleared out. Ooh, deluxe chemistry set. Uh, let's create some stem packs, because we're, we're going to be lazy and vanilla like that. That, and also, it's kind of necessary. <laughs> More, in a way, to have a lot of stem packs to stay alive. There we go. And they don't have any weight in this version, which is good. However, if they make a more hardcore version in Fallout 4, where it gives them weight, I'm going to be uh, in trouble, because I rely on stim packs a lot. Okay. Now that we're done with that, let's move on to one of the next tests. Oop. Mentats. I only just saw that. There we go. Uh, let's pop some, uh, I don't know, something. Let's pop a stim pack, since we have extra now. And... Let's swap it to the next test. Institutional Data Retrieval Advanced Test. For this test, you must use any means necessary to, ret to retrieve three student files from an average high school. Utilize the Field Disruptor and Capacitance Module for the Sonic Emitter to better navigate the area. Protectrons and basic security protocols have been, up have been activated. And now I have to upgrade the sonic emitter. Enter that. Uh, advanced test. It's loaded up already. There we go. Then eventually we'll go into the kennel and get the institutional test with the Night Stalkers done. Alright. Attention students, this is the pre-recorded voice of your pre-recorded principal, Dr. Principal Boros. Alright, so we have to go here for the field disruptor download. Download the... yes. Now disable force fields. Uh, get out of the way so I can read the text, please. Attached to this message is the data I've collected regarding the EM pulse wave module's effect on our force field emitters. Ugh. I'm sending the prototype weapon your way for testing. Please forward this on to Olin as soon as you can to determine how we might shield our emitters from this weapon's EMP effect. Well, you never found a way, did ya? Oh, we can go this way now. Or this way. Oh, shit. There we go. I'm still trying to get used to the uh, directional pad being so functional. And let's get one last shot in. And it hit the pillow. God damn it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Energy cells. Okay. 
and I honestly think there we go all right and there's a bunch of energy cells here and it is upgraded now <laughs> those are like perfectly stacked there and now they fall is that coming from the weapon? I think it's coming from the weapon, holy shit. There we go, okay. And they're just gonna sit right there and I'm not gonna bother them yet. I'll take the eyeglasses and the whiskey. <laughs> yep, the typical American high school. If you ain't finding booze, it ain't a typical American high school. For damn sure. You need it to survive that shit. Alright. <laughs> Please don't listen to me, kids. You don't actually need it. <laughs> well, at least... If you're... You know, smart. <laughs> the rest of us dummies kind of need it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Shut up, Tom. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. There we go. Let's take this one down. And we'll get the other one. Okay. That was a little quicker. Okay. Take that. And whoop. Take that. Alright. Oh. There's a bug crawling on my screen. Just a second. You're gonna hear a lot of squeaking on my chair. There we go. All right. Yeah, it's with it's with it being summer and all. It's now bug season to be flying all around, getting into the house through the small time the doors were open, and just generally be annoying. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't explore the rest of the bottom floor though, so I'm gonna. There we go. Okay, I had to try and get it swap to the right thing and this way oh shit I'm gonna see how well this deals with that actually pretty well um, tool cabinet conductor and some decent stuff in there okay oh, oh. take this uh, foot locker. Got some stuff there. That I'll eventually be breaking down once I get back. Cabinet Psycho. Alright. Alright. Hopefully this will do some decent damage to this one. And I keep missing. I suck. Damn it, just hit and kill the damn robot. It keeps zoning in for the dog. Paralyzed dog is. Okay, let's take out the home. Oh, I did not. That did not feel good. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, doggies. You're, you're programmed to kill me, so I have to defend myself. But God damn it. Okay, let, I've completely forgotten in all this time to be grabbing all the information records. They're all the same thing as before, so... If you see me skipping through them, it's because they're basically the same shit as they were before. Um, this area clear. That must be someone on the top floor. Okay. Is there anything else over here that I could use? I think there was one in the. Uh, yeah, in the uh, da -da -da -da, little infirmary area. I think there was a computer there. Wasn't there? There it is. No, it's not being used though. Could have sworn that maybe it's on another time, but usually there's a uh, computer terminal with the information in here. Guess not this time, but 
Hmm. Oh. There's an idea. See how there's this turret here? Forces it to kill itself. Oh, jeez. And there we go. All right. All right. <clears throat> okay. And we'll pick up some of the stuff here. Is there anything in that fridge that we can use? Uh, Mentats. And there wasn't really that much there. I think it was Iguana Bits and Grilled Mantis. Yeah, it's not too many good things there. Not particularly. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me making more videos for you guys or not. It's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.